what's up, hello. Hi, BB. Say hello to soy sauce. I got a cat. We'll get into that though. I'm still a little terrified of her because she's a stray that I found outside. Really quickly, wearing my merch. It's gonna be down below if you guys wanna shop it. Um, it's now live. Ah, so exciting. Don't know what that noise was. Me and Soy are matching. Soy says go buy the merch because it's spicy. spicy. Really quickly, I wanted to start this video off with a giveaway because, you know, ever since I took Soy in, I'm just feeling all the love and I'm in the, I'm in the mood. Tis the season for giving. So I partnered up with Balesa. And if you don't know what that is, they make adult toys. What is this channel turning into? Um, I'm 25 years old, let me live. Shh. So my friends and I at Balesa are sending away free vibrators and free gift cards for vibrators to every single person that enters this giveaway. These are just some box products to show you for examples. Balesa is a bi woman company for all things sexuality. Balesa's mission is to empower everyone to explore, embrace, and celebrate their sexuality. What is this in my hands right here? Oh, just a little sound, sound, just a little bit of toys that I've picked out for you. Um, I'm gonna tell you about each of these really quickly. There's literally like explosions outside, so that's good. To be honest, I'm lacking a little bit in this department. <laughs> I just don't know much about what's cool, so um, I just like picked out what looked fun on the website. I had them send it to me to try out. Ooh, naughty, naughty. So let's start with the pebble, as seen on Buzzfeed, maybe. Also, 10 out of 10 packaging. Look how cute and discreet this is. We love us a good pink moment. She's adorable, like I just wanna put her in my pocket. You know you could. So this is suction and vibration controlled independently. You can have your partner use it for you. You can use it for yourself. You don't need no man or woman. You don't need no one else but yourself. Live, love the pebble. See how tiny and cute it is? That's because it's actually built to fit perfectly in your hand. Oh! We love her, she's adorable. We love the pebble. Slay! Personal fave. And also, there's no annoying pattern movements with this, if you know what I mean, so. The girls that get it, get it. Got it, good. Up next, we have the air vibe. And remember, I'm just showing you some of the many options that you have to choose from. She's a man eater. Ooh, 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 yeah. You know how like makeup beauty gurus give you makeup swatches? I'm giving you vibrator swatches. <laughs> Hmm, <clears throat> are you a two for a check? So here she looks so cute, so clean, and like you can just tell this is like good quality. So this is dual stimulation, it's bendy. Am I allowed to be showing y'all this? I think so. This is dual stimulation and so it's super bendy, which means that it can hit your G spot and your like, <clears throat> clitoris. I think I'm never gonna grow up, sorry. And as you can see, it comes in the most discreet casing. So like literally if someone sees this in my nightstand, they're not gonna open it up. They'll think it's like a coin purse. You're just not gonna touch this. It's like a plastic. They'll think that there's a toy in it, which there is a toy, but not the toy you're thinking of. It's waterproof, rechargeable. Most importantly, it's silent, but deadly. Take one last good look at this baby. Oh, she's gorgeous. Not as gorgeous as me. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, and they all come with little chargers. So don't you worry. Next is Miss Demi Wand herself. If she wants to come out. I love the Demi Wand. <coughs> See, look, it's like a little sunglass case. Oh, but really, oh, Lord have mercy. No, it's not. She is a little power stick. <laughs> so the Demi Wand works for all body types because orgasms are for everyone. Everyone, even your old granny. Blech. This is an innovative design and it's whisper quiet. So you're not gonna get Ain't nobody's phone ringing. Nobody's vibrator going off. It's quiet. It's also compact and discreet as well. And it also comes with a adorable cute as heck case like I just showed you. Okay, but what's really cool about this case, there's two little dots that you just align with them, shut it, plug the charger in, and it's a charging case. So you don't have to like have it sitting around the house charging. Like you can literally charge it in the case. What? It has a bam, flexible neck that helps you target the areas that you want. And once again, it has no annoying patterns, if you know, you know. So once again, every single person who signs up for my giveaway with Balesa wins something. Whether you win a vibrator or you win a gift card towards a vibrator, vibrator, all you have to do is sign up and you're gonna win something. So if you wanna be a winner, why would you not sign up? I'm literally doing you a favor. It's free shit, it's free shit. I'm gonna put the link for the giveaway in the description and I'll also have it up here. Down below, you guys will be able to click on it and enter. And if you have any questions, make sure you comment and I'll answer you. Have fun, you little monsters, you little rascals, and and let's get into the video. This vlog is gonna be a little all over the place. Right now I have a big pile behind me of stuff that I wanna sell and give away. And I've just kind of kept it all in this random nook of mine. That's like not a room, but like a random nook. <coughs> also peep those shelves. But um, so yeah, I'm gonna go through it and see what I'm gonna give away, what I'm gonna donate, what I'm gonna sell, all the good boring stuff. This is what we're working with. Lovely. Okay, I have like clothes from literally middle school that I just found in a separate trash bag and they're all, just found them in a trash bag and they're all on hangers, but like they've been sitting in that trash bag and they could be literally being be worn by people every day. 
who don't have clothes and here I am just like hoarding them so we are going to get rid of all of them some of them are like Victoria's Secret and I used to like list those on my Poshmark but now I'm just like girl give them to someone who has nothing I'm in my grateful era this is American Eagle neon neon v-neck why do I still have that these are all my old college U of A shirts I don't need them all right, I just got these two boxes dropped off and they're from Anthropology Home. I ordered a ton of stuff from Anthropology Home the other day and don't really remember it. Um, and then I woke up and I did it because I was half asleep and then I woke up and I was like, oh shit. So it's kind of like, I don't even really know what I'm about to open. It's like Christmas, right? Okay. Oh. million pieces I can't even pick it up so all right good morning vlog it's 7 30 a.m. and we are at the Williamson County Animal Hospital I had a follower tell me that she works here and to come so I drove 30 minutes out here um, because all for little soy and today is exam day exam day she's in the back sorry I'm getting a little nervous <laughs> I probably won't bring my vlog camera in just because I I don't know but I'll bring my phone and I'll vlog what I can and I'll update you so wish us luck we're here to get soy sauce examined she's really excited I think it's a sheet. Okay, so I can already tell this is gonna be my favorite room ever, probably because it's got the least amount of shit in it. So that doesn't stress me out. And I like how it's white, bright, and airy, and it gets like the perfect amount of light in. Just gotta fix the curtains, but I decided I don't even like the black rod. So last night I ordered a really pretty rod on Target. That's gonna go there. And my nightstand from Restoration Hardware is broken, so we love that. But I love this rug so much. I might get it in my office too, but also I just got a cat and I feel like that's really stupid. But my cat has never been in this room. She's still afraid of me, like, but I don't think I want to allow her in this master room. I slept with her last night on the couch, but she's still just like getting used to this environment and she's thrown up on two of my rugs. This is the only rug she hasn't puked on and it's only because she hasn't been in here. So that shit is white AF and we're gonna keep it that way. But my Lamps came and I've been trying out different lamps. I've tried out two different lamps in here and I didn't like either of them So I'm really hoping that this one works even though my nightstand is broken, but everything is slowly but surely coming together and um, Yeah, I know that this vlog is all over the place because I always just like vlog out random moments and never give you any explanation But that's how I am. So let's unbox <laughs>
her. much just because I've been doing a lot for TikTok but I thought I was gonna get my mirror delivered today I might still be I literally don't know like I'm not keeping track I just get these phone calls that like something's coming and I'm like okay but like I don't know what it is because I have so many different stuff ordered I thought it was this and then people showed up and they're like we're picking up chairs like not even delivering something picking up and I was like oh yeah I was gonna return my dining chair I guess you can take them like I don't know <laughs> um, but I've been doing so many unboxings this is my merch I'm wearing I've been doing so many unboxings on TikTok, so I kind of want to take a break and do... I just got more packages and I want to unbox a little bit with y'all over here. I know a lot of my content has been home decor stuff on my YouTube and some of you guys might be just like so over it, but that's just like what I'm going through right now. Um, moving is a biatch and I'm doing it alone and I moved in August, the end of August, technically September. So it's been two months, but every single thing is back ordered. I don't know when the final thing is gonna be finished, my whole house, because people are like, house tour. I'm like, what am I gonna give you a tour of? There's just boxes everywhere. And it's like, I'm constantly getting stuff. And then like, I don't like that. So I'm returning my dining chairs. And now I have new dining chairs coming. And then now I decided I want a rug under there. And then like, <laughs> half the shit that comes is like damaged. And so then I have to wait another. It's just like a whole hassle. Cause I, I'm literally starting from scratch. Like I didn't keep anything except for my guest bedroom, which is the only thing that's finished because it's my old furniture. Like I have shit that I ordered in August and it won't be here till March. Oh, there there has been some things though that I've canceled and just found alternatives for even though I said I wasn't gonna do that just because I just a lot of people were like you can find a lot of other stuff and I was like yeah I know but I've done that everywhere I've lived and always said I'm gonna like actually invest in the pieces I want at this home whether that means I have to wait for them it's not like I have anyone over it's just in my videos I guess it bothers people me having an empty house but I don't know why I got new lighting and I'm obsessed with it. Like it is so crisp and clean and we're probably gonna use it. So I'm just afraid I'm about to set up and then I'm gonna get a phone call that someone's gonna come deliver furniture and it's gonna be awkward because I'm gonna have lighting set up. And they're gonna be like, what do you do? And I'm gonna be like, I don't know, don't follow me. Okay, my camera is so broken so I can't even see myself. <laughs> Which boohoo, what am I gonna do? I can't stare at myself, ah! But I'm gonna do a few unboxings because like I just said, I've been doing some on TikTok a lot. <laughs> Okay. I don't really know what some of this shit is. I really hope... Where did I put my scissors? Oh. I really hope that I don't get furniture delivered in the next few seconds or minutes. Hope you guys can see because I can't see if you can. Let's open this. It's Crate and Barrel. Oh! <gasps> Wait, these are Christmas things. I have to, I have to open these on TikTok, y'all. Ah! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I have to. I, I, I have to. I can open this though. I'll show y'all it, but I'm gonna unbox it on TikTok, but then I'll show you guys it in this video. This is a, uh, from the container store. Oh God. Guess what? More organization. Still doing them. I was doing the hand. I got these for my pants my jeans in my master closet. So maybe this weekend I will do these and put it in the next vlog. Maybe the next vlog I'll do, you can't even see me. Maybe the next vlog I'll do like organization, up to date. Something you guys have never seen before, I know. I don't know, but right now all my jeans and stuff are just like stacked. So this is like a cute aesthetic way for it to be. So I'm gonna put these in my master. Okay. Guys, look at this big ass mirror I got. I think I was supposed to do a transition. Maybe I still will. But I just did a little unboxing for free people. And now it's 1 p.m. Um, so much for having a productive morning. And I'm gonna go run to the dumpster because I have so many packages and my recycle comes once a fucking month, which is insane. So I often have to load my car up and go to the recycle. So let's go. Hey, just look in my car. Ooh, it is out fully packed to the rim. 
of boxes. I made like one really quick TikTok. Okay, maybe it was like three minutes long, but it was me sitting in my car and in the garage and like the garage closed and I kept talking. In the comments, like people didn't even listen to what I said. They were like freaking out that I was sitting in my garage with it closed. So we will not be doing that anymore. Um, even though it was just three minutes and like I'm smart. I know you're not supposed to do that, but I was like, okay, I'll just finish this TikTok and get out. But y'all worried about me, okay? You, you do love me. All right, let's go recycle. Fuck, happy Friday. Any of that. Okay, I don't think I ever really showed y'all, but this is the thing on my nightstand. I'm purging through my closet right now, so <laughs> I have that. And also, I don't want to show you guys my bed yet because I'm going to show you in the next vlog. I know that's annoying, but I'm doing a deal with Brook Linen, so you'll see it next week. Um, yeah, that's me and Wall, and I love these. I'll link them below the little lamps. And this is tomorrow. Someone's coming to pick this up because they gave it to me broken. We saw in the last vlog, and so we have to switch that out. Yeah, I'm currently purging through all of this, and it's just so much fun. I just love this for me. Leave this mirror. Oh, this is a dream. I never thought I would have this mirror. I never thought I'd have a room for this mirror, to be honest, because it's huge. I don't think you understand how big this is. Um, hello. Is it? Does it make me basic for having this? Yes. Do I care? No. Absolutely not. Nope. Good morning. I feel like you guys see me more looking scary than I actually ever done up. Well, I guess the reality is I've never really done up, but I do have potential, I think. Okay, I just woke up. It's a Saturday. I love, no, I hate Saturdays, but I never do anything. So I love when I have nothing to do. I'm using, this smells so good. I'm gonna let you know it is pricey though, but it smells so good. This is an Elemis. Ooh, I love it. Cleansing balm. Um, we're doing skincare this morning. Do I always do skincare? No, never. But when I do, these are what I use. So I'm just in the mood this morning to use it. I watched one video on my TikTok and I was a girl using stuff and I was like, damn, that makes me want to get up and use some skincare. So maybe you're watching this and it inspires you to want to do skincare. So let me go get my special little rag. Okay, this is also an Elemis rag. It just came with my PR from them. So the cleansing balm, it's just like a gel and it takes off everything. I don't have makeup on, but you never know what could come off. And it just smells good as fuck. Mm. Now I'm greased like a pig. You can't tell because the lighting is so insane. I really love this stuff. I can't believe I didn't know what it was until they sent it to me. And then I realized it's like everywhere. I was like, oh, I just don't be paying attention, huh? I really want to get on Amazon those things that you put, see there's shit coming off and I didn't even think I had makeup on, that you put on your wrist. They look stupid, but I would benefit from them so much because washing my face is so damn messy and it helps water not like splash down. Woo! So now that was a cleansing balm. Meow. It's my child, let me show you her. Hey honey. Okay, baby. This is my baby. Mo Mornings with soy. I love you, baby. She used to not let me, let, let, hello? She used to not let me do that. And now I have cat hair on me. Great. I always mix up, do I put serum on first or moisturizer? Which one's it gonna be, babe? Um, I love this rock moisturizer, but since I just use Elemis, I'm gonna stick to Elemis product products. Not for any reason, but this is my favorite moisturizer right now at the moment. I will link all this below. It just smells like oranges and I'm orange. <laughs> just kidding. I think I was supposed to do the serum first. But here's the moisturizer because I've been so itchy lately and I don't know if it's the weather or people are like, it's your cat. Because I've said how I like don't have sensitive skin. I don't get irritated skin. I'm not allergic to things, so I don't. That's the only reason why I'm like freaking out that I'm so itchy all the time. It's like my whole body and there's no bug bites. It's weird. Um, I put a shit ton of moisturizer on. That was like a lot. And I think my face was still wet. 
I'm just an impatient queen. This lighting literally makes me look pale as a ghost. But I organized my whole closet and I'm so happy. Oh yeah, I was supposed to use this before my moisturizer, so I'm not gonna use it. And then my last final step is my gel Elemis under eye mask. You only need a little bit of this because a lot comes off. Late for the day, happy Saturday, bitch. And I usually set all of that with Dermatologica. I don't really even know what this does, but I tell myself it's doing something. Shit. Now I need to brush my teeth because I'm gross. Oh, y'all, this looks so much better. I don't know if I showed you that before. Obviously, I still have some work to do. But like this was like, hello, focus. This was like insane. I still, like now, like look how organized that is. And the earrings are in there. And then this... Are you kidding me? I got these from the container store. I'll link them. I still have to go through that. I color-coded my dresses, and then at the end are long dresses. This half is long because I didn't like what it looked like when they were mixed in, so it's color-coded short. And then these are long and maxi on the end. Um, I did... Ooh. I did some stuff up there. I'm still going to work on this. I need different bins. <clears throat> and then the, I need to put something in those boots. I usually use like pool floats. These two, they're usually not missing spots, but it's because I, ew, my hands. Um, I have outfits over there that I'm using those boots for, so. But normally there won't be a space. Um, this stuff, I'm thinking I want to start putting PR in here. In these little cubbies, because I think it's perfect. I moved all my tank tops over to here because I don't use them now that it's winter and then put more of my long sleeves where they're viewable. I don't think y'all understand how much clothes I got rid of. So much. These are sweaters and I have to work with, there's pants down there. I have to do this section, this section still. But that's so much progress. And then obviously where my hats are, I'll just make that look prettier but that won't take long. I just haven't done it yet. And then... These are all shoes that I'm going to be either giving away or listing on Poshmark. Some of them are just like so dirty. Like these I used to bartend in these and they're disgusting. But I don't want to throw them away. Like somebody might need them. But also I don't even know if they're worth donating because they're so gross probably. I might try and throw them in the wash because I have little like washable shoe bags. And see if I can clean them up and then donate them because those are dope if they could be cleaned. Um, Yeah. Some vans, I washed those, so that's why there's no laces in them. Same with these, I threw them in the washer. Just to see if I can make them, because a lot of my shoes just get so gross, because I just always run around. I fuck up shoes, even if I've only worn them once, I destroy shoes. And so I hate that about me, but I can't help it. But yesterday or last night I was really, really productive and I'm really proud of myself. And for some reason, even though like my job, I the, a weekend is not really any different for me than a Monday through Friday, because I work from home, do my own schedule, whatever. I still just am way more productive on the weekends. I think it's because I know other people are like out and about and I don't have pressure that like, I don't know. I really don't know if I can explain the brain chemistry when I'm not, but yeah, I'm doing a lot of progress. dark gloomy day so the vibes are like dark and gloomy but i really quickly wanted to show you guys just some of my fall shoes that i recently ordered i unboxed them on tiktok but i'm gonna link them all below i just want to show you out here because i'm breaking down my boxes and I'm about to put them away i've always thought loafers were really ugly but if i were to get any they would be cute like this with a little heel so i got these from steve madden i have an outfit in mind and i've been like trying to get inspo but i just like can't get on the loafer wave and these are so trendy and so in. Everyone's been wearing them for years. 
the past recent years and I just have been waiting for them to go away because I just can't get on the wave. But they're not going anywhere and so I'm just trying it. I'm trying it out. I might end up loving them. Um, and these ones aren't that bad, but all the other ones I just can't get with it. Like, oh my god, I literally can't. I, I just feel like they look silly on me and they look like they, it used to be part of my uniform when I went to private school yeah. So it literally reminds me of that, but um, these ones are cute. I love this bone color. It's so dark in here I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, I'll link these below. They're from Steve Madden, even though Steve Madden Never mind <laughs> These are Birkenstocks the OG potato shoes. I also used to have these in elementary school That is so crazy and these next ones I had in elementary school. That is so wild um, but these ones are from Free People. They're like a grayish color. These are really big now. Or they're back. I remember that this part used to, when you'd run, like hit me in the back of the foot and it was painful. We're living, laughing, loving. And these are really, they're really trendy. What the? It's like sewn into here. That was weird. Okay. But I got these from Free People. Um, I'll link below the colors that they have available. And yeah, I'm going to look like a potato. These are more for just like my chill, like parachute pants, outfits, casual tee. The only thing I ever wear. Um, and then last but not least, I got me, this is like my fifth pair of Uggs, but these are the platform minis. Um, I remember when I thought the minis were so ugly. Not even the platform, just the short ones. I always wanted them super tall, but these are in now. I wear my Ugg slippers all the time, but size up. I'm a six and a half on everything. And I, if, if there's not a half size, I always size down because I hate the feeling of big shoes. But with Uggs, oh my God, my Ugg mini or my Ugg slippers are sixes. And I'm miserable in them like I literally I still wear them every day But I clonk around in them and I just so badly wish because I thought since I wear them every day I'd wear them in that's what everyone told me and I'm like y'all it's been like months I even wore them over the summer and they're just so small like my foot isn't on there So it just makes me trip. So I went up to a seven Because they only don't have half sizes. I think I did. Yeah, I did So I'm really excited about this and these are very trendy. These will all be down below last but not least These I pre-ordered them, but now I think that they're available, but I had to wait forever to get these now I think they're in stock. These are Tony Ba I can't I can't think right now. These are really pricey. This is my one fall boot that I'm I splurged on this year. Oh my god, they just smell new. I don't know where the hell I'm gonna wear them because I don't do anything fancy, but I already know like a thousand pictures in my head that I want to wear these with. Don't know who's gonna take them, but that's for another day. I will link these below. They're also in my Revolve Babes, and these just are so chic and cute, and you need like a staple nice boot, because I have, all my boots are like cheap and expensive, which there's nothing wrong with that, but they just like, as I'm getting older, and I just, I can tell differences now, so I'm getting rid of all my old boots, which you saw when I splurged through my closet. And um, this is an investment for my future daughter, even though I wreck boots. So this is not gonna last that long because I'm not having a baby anytime soon. Anyways, <laughs> all right, love you guys. Just wanted to show you those. Okay guys, I'm finally saying goodbye to this bar cart. We've had very many memories together. Um, I've had this thing since my first or second apartment in 2016. Now it's 2022, almost 2023. It was honestly the most pointless thing I've ever had. It was just for decoration. I never used it. But every time I post it, people freak out and they're like, where'd you get that? And I'm like, years ago. But I sold it on Facebook Marketplace. I've got a lady coming to pick it up. She said her daughter just moved in an apartment. Um, and has been wanting one. Super cute. Whee! Okay, I don't think I've even shown y'all this yet. Ooh, sorry, my camera's broke. But this is my full finished guest room, and it's also my like hoodie closet. So those are crew necks, and those are hoodies color coded, and those um, those are categorized, even though they don't look like it. But when I get my dresser in my master bedroom, that's where those will go, obviously, and like my hats down here. They don't look organized, but they are, I swear. <laughs> I got this rug from Rugs USA. That little trash can, I was I, did, I was gonna return it, but I've actually ended up using it a lot. My little slippers, hee <laughs> hee. This is where I've been sleeping, but the bedding, um, I'm out of breath. The bedding and the quilt is from the Indigo Home. I'll put them below, and the Juju's from Indigo Home, and then um, I will link everything else below. And these wings are really pretty. It's basically everything that was from my bedroom um, at my apartment. I don't know if I ever really showed you guys it that much because it was just always so freaking messy. A lot of this, like these are all my sister's stuff. This is a rose from her funeral. 
and this was just like a little the every single thing these were hers have like meaning behind it there's her picture over there and a little letter in here that she wrote me which is also what i have tattooed on me and the pillows are from amazon but the covers are from the indigo home and the bed is from tov i'll link it all below um i shouldn't have got a rug this big but it wasn't i didn't know if it was going to go in here or not and i actually got these things on amazon that like made it stick so the door didn't actually get stuck under it and it's not a problem and soy this is soy's favorite room she she's probably under here now is she she is she's under there 24 7. she loves to hide under there this rug is cozy for her so yeah that's my finished guest bedroom one bedroom down sorry the bed's not great it's because well i sleep in here and i just tucked it badly one bedroom down just a few more to go i think i want to get these are all like samples of things but what is this i think these are all under eye masks i want to put some on today because my bags are dark okay these ones i get on amazon i like them um i really 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 want i've like recently randomly decided that I want a new vlog camera. I have been team G7X probably for the past eight years. I've used the same camera, just different models of it when they come out with new ones. And I've gone through like 10 of these cameras because they break so easily, but they're just so little and portable and great for vlogging on YouTube. I don't know y'all, I think I'm finally ready for something different. I, I, I don't know if you've noticed, even at the beginning of this video, like this shit just goes out of focus all the fucking time. And like, I'm sure there's something in settings I could do. How did I used to know so much about videography and now I just feel like I don't know anything anymore? Like, did I just, okay. But yeah, my shit just never focuses and it sucks and it, it is kind of broken. It is broken. And Walt was like, you just need to get a screw and it'll fix it. Cause it's like literally hanging off. But like, when am I gonna go find a screw? Never, so let's be real. I think I would rather like sell this one and then get me a new, new vlog camera. I think it's about that time I'm entering a new era. My YouTube is finally growing for once in my life after posting on here for years. Um, I've been doing my first brand deals ever on YouTube, which only took about 10 years to get. Love that for me. Um, anyways, love you guys so much. And I know I don't ever say it enough, but I am really grateful. And I'm just, I'm not mushy gushy, you know that, but I am grateful. And I appreciate every single like and view and comment. And I love all of you for just watching. Even if you're a hater watching, <laughs> I love you. Yeah, mm, yeah, yeah, you'll come around. <laughs> oh my god, my camera is so broken. Soy, it's broken. I've shown y'all a million times. I posted this on Instagram. But this is Soy's. Come here, baby. Oh, sassy. She's in heat, so she's horny. Um, this is <laughs> this is Soy's food setup. Amazon. The mat is CB2, and then this little nugget water fountain is from Amazon as well. And I will link them all below. The kitty, she just spit these out right in front of me. She better eat them. Baby's crying. She is the most vocal cat you will ever meet, but she's also in heat, so love that. Hmm. Thank you. You love you. Are you. If I put a Christmas tree up, are you gonna tear it down, mama? No, that's right. Okay, this lighting is ass. But I got two, wait, no, this lighting is so bad, I actually can't. Let there be light. Okay, I got two new packages from Amazon. These are just so random. First up, we have a green crop tee. I love the color green. I don't know if y'all can tell my merch is this color hat green um this material i ordered it in white from amazon so cheap and so comfy but it was like a little see-through so i was like i'm gonna get it in shit ton of other colors so i did i think i got it in like four other colors because i love clothes but i'm not good at styling outfits so my go-to is just like a pair of pants with like a basic crop tee okay beautifully organized a guide to functioning and styling your home i more so got this for a coffee table book i think i'm gonna stack it over here let's do it fuck i turned the heat up and it is hot mama Okay, please ignore like the sticky boobs and random shit that I have in here. I thought that this was a hardcover and it's not, so that kind of makes me sad. But does this slay? I'm about to put all my Christmas stuff. I don't know, there's still too much clutter going on. I think I'm gonna take the candles away. Baby, I just don't like the console table to be honest with y'all. Honey.
Okay. Yeah, I think that there's way too much clutter up here. I think there should just be three things. But the pumpkin was just seasonal. I don't know, we'll see. Rattle, rattle! My baby's aggravated. Yes, she is. So she wants to go outside and get pregnant. Okay, this is waterless shampoo with apple and honey for kitty. It's Bert's bees, so I think I just spray it on her. Spray your cat from back of ears to tail. Brush through. That will be fun. She is going to hate me. But I want my baby to smell good. Sorry. And then I think this is, yeah, another one of those tops in black. I will link these all below. Okay, well, I think I'm gonna end off the vlog here and then I'm gonna start a new one and I promise my next ones are gonna be so exciting. <laughs> I say that every funny time. I promise my next ones are gonna be more exciting though, okay? Because they'll actually have purpose. It's just hard for me to vlog when I'm just setting things up and like I don't have a purpose to the vlog. Like there's no point, I'm just like recording shit. But my next one is gonna have a purpose, okay? There's gonna be like a video title and like a whole reason for it, I think. Okay, I'm gonna brush my teeth and have myself a little Saturday and start a new vlog. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have a great Sunday, which is the day that it's gonna be when I upload videos. You guys know Sadie Crowell? She's in Nashville. Um, she just told me to text her. But I was gonna be a good girl and stay in. Ah! We'll see, we'll see. Stay tuned. Love you, beaches. Buy my merch. Link in bio. Also, don't forget to enter the giveaway. Give it, it. Don't forget to enter the giveaway with Belessa because literally every single person wins. You either win a free vibrator or you win money towards a vibrator. So you win regardless for signing up. It's all gonna be in the bio. And thanks so much, Belessa, for having faith in me. You little crazy kids, have fun. My vanilla ass. Okay, love you. Bye. No. Pretty Caroline.